We are given a four-sided figure. They say which ABC, it's a quadrilateral. And then we are told which AP is equaling to, so this is 10 centimeter, this is 10 centimeter. They say which you should calculate the size of B. ABC, ABC, they're talking about this angle here. Now we said if you have three sides and then you want to calculate an angle, which rule can you use? You're going to use the cost rule again. Now let's take out the triangles that we have here. Let's come up with the triangles that we have here. So we can see what we have triangle ABC again. So we're going to highlight a triangle ABC. So this is B, this is A, this is C. This is 10, this is 10, this is 10 root three. No? And then if we do this according to what we already know, this one is going to be small letter A. Again. This one is going to be small letter, and then this one is going to be small letter C. Okay. Is there any other triangle that we see from here? Which triangle is that? A, C, no? A, C, D, this one here. No? Okay, if we highlight that one, this is what we're going to have. We have A, we have C, and then we have T again. So what do we have for this one? We, we are given this angle again here. This angle here, it's 74, comma, Four, seven. <laughs> and then this one here, it's 10 root 3. Okay, the first question says which we should calculate B. Okay? The only triangle that we can use to calculate B is triangle green one, APC. Okay? So what are we going to say here? We're going to say which here, we are looking for B. Okay? So we're going to start by saying which this is going to be B squared, which is going to be equaling to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC. Okay? And then multiply by cos, cos of B. We're still together then. What are we looking for? We're looking for an angle. Language. Since we're looking for an angle, we said the first thing that we can do here is to take this whole thing here. I think this thing here is one term here. So how many terms do you have here? You have one, two, three. So you can take this whole term here, which is negative. Okay? If you take this thing to this other side here, it is negative. Okay? When it gets to the side, it's going to become what? So we're going to have two AC. The cause of B. At the same time, we see this B again. This B here, B squared, is positive again. If we can take it to this other side, it's going to become what? Yeah, and then we're going to have something like this. It says good to you have A squared, which is this one, plus C squared. And then, who below, it's new again. We're going to take it to that other side. It becomes what? Minus B squared. Now, before you substitute, it makes sense for you to make this thing a little bit simple. If you want to make this a little bit simple, you can come and divide here. We are going to divide by 2AC. And then we're also going to come and divide by 2AC. And then if we divide by 2AC, 2AC and 2AC, they will divide each other out. Again. And then it says go to the cos of B is going to be equal to A squared plus C squared minus B squared all over 2AC. I'm talking on. And then from there, we want P, everything. If you want P, how would you get P? <laughs> you will say P is going to be equal to the cos R. Okay, okay let's go and substitute, mind you. We know what is A squared. You come and check here which what is A squared. What is A squared? It's 10 or squared, okay? plus. We know what is C squared. What is C squared? It's 10 or squared, okay? minus. We know what is P. What is P? It says, which this is going to be 10 root 3 all squared. Okay? And then you close your bracket all over. 2 multiplied by A. What is A? It's 10. What is? It's 10 again. Yeah, and then you take this thing and then you're going to type it in your calculator. If you type this in your calculator, let's see what you get. What do you get? You get 120. No? Yeah, but how do you type it? I think you're going to say shift cos arc. Okay? And then you say fraction. No? And then after that, you say open bracket, you say 10 or squared plus 10 or squared minus. It says which is 10 root 3. No? 
all square again. All over two multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10. And then you close the bracket here. And then if you close the bracket, it says which piece going to be equal to what? 120. Okay, we'll come and write which piece going to be 120. P is going to be equal to 120 degrees. So for something like this, how many marks are we going to get? We're going to get one, two, three for getting P. So we'll come and say, with well, this one here, it's 120 degrees. Okay, let's go to the next question. What is the next question? They say, determine whether A, B, C, D, it's a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay? Now, if this thing is a cyclic quadrilateral, it means which, because we already know this one here is 120. This one here has to be 60. If you can see what this one here is 60, like opposite angles of a cyclic quad, they add up to 180. You know? Let's go and prove which one is this angle here. We don't know what is that angle, but we're going to calculate it now. Since we want that angle here, we are going to use the fact that, okay, I know what is the opposite side to this angle. So I'm going to take these two here. And then at the same time, I already know this angle and the opposite side to that angle. So I'm going to tell them which is the sine of D all over 10 root three. I got this one, it's opposite to this one. I get Equals to the sine of 74,47 all over. I know what is the side, okay? It's 19,27. And then they will give me one mark for this. I want T, mean cross multiply. If you cross multiply here, it says which is the sine of T is going to be given as 10 root three multiplied by the sine of 74,47 all over 19,27, okay? Now, if you round off this thing, it says which you are going to have D, which is going to be given as the sine arc, okay? Multiply by the sine of 74,47 all over 19,27. Okay, if you type this exactly the way it is in your calculator, you are going to say, okay, but now instead of having sine, we have the sine arc. So it's shift sine arc. Ah, this thing is running away. Okay, shift sine arc, and then we're going to have fraction. You have 10 root three. Ne? Okay, this is going to be multiplied by the sine of 74, comma, it's 74, comma, four seven. Okay, close bracket, all over. It's 19, comma, 19, comma, two seven. Okay, close bracket. And then it says, which one is our answer? D is going to be equal to what two? D is going to be equal to 60 degrees. Now, what does this mean then? We are going to tell them, okay, therefore, A, B, okay, let's start by doing this then. We'll tell them which, when we add, when we add B and T, okay? if you add B and T, what do you get? You get 108, okay? So you'll say which P plus D is going to be equal to 108. Therefore, A, B, C, D, it is a cyclic quad. How did we prove the cyclic quad here? Which method did we use? So we're going to use the con converse. Eh? So we're going to use converse opposite angles of a cyclic quad. This one comes from Euclidean geometry. Okay? So you're going to get a mark here. You're going to get a mark here. You're going to get a mark here. And then we're also going to give you a mark here. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay? And then this one, it was three marks. All in all, you're going to get a mark out of seven. So you're going to get seven out of seven. And then this is 24, 07, 07, 20, 23. 